one of the easiest ways to tell if your battery is bad is to take a look at the sides. And if the sides are bulging, uh, that means your battery is pretty much shot, and that's a result of being overcharged. In fact, when I was in, worked in the automotive department, uh, if we seen a battery that had bulging sides, we didn't even bother to get to the testing. I mean, we would test it if the customer requested it, but it was pretty much shot if it was bulging at the sides. Another uh, thing you look at is to check and see if there's any broken terminals. Now, I didn't notice this problem a lot when I worked in automotive, but uh, broken terminals are not good, and they can cause a short circuit, uh, which in turn produces heat, and that heat production can lead to an explosion, which we don't want to happen because uh, that puts out sulfuric acid, and uh, I can't tell you how many pairs of uh, pants I've had uh, ripped because of uh, battery acid and uh, that acid is obviously not good for you. Another thing to look out for are uh, cracks. Now cracks, splits, and holes uh, may not cause a battery to stop working, but they obviously uh, present some safety issues. And uh, like I said, when I worked in automotive department, uh, what we do is we typically take one of these testers, we call it a load tester, and we put it on the appropriate uh, cables, uh, black being negative and red being positive. And what this does is this measures the voltage by applying uh, a simulated heavy load. And what we're essentially looking for is uh, whether the batteries uh, can handle the load or not for, I don't know, 15, 20 seconds, uh, up to 30 seconds. Uh, typically, you want to see uh, over 12 volts to, uh, to 13 volts. And if that uh, test under 12, uh, that typically is a uh, bad battery, and that's where we go ahead and replace it right there. Now, another thing to look at when you pop the hood are the uh, terminals. When you uh, look at the terminals, you want to see if there's any corrosion on them. And if there is corrosion, uh, you want to go ahead and try to remove that uh, corrosion with a wire brush uh, so you, it's easier to have the battery start. Now, uh, let's say you don't have all these nice tools, so check it out. Uh, well, one way you can test a battery out at home is uh, after you turn the engine off is to turn on the headlights and uh, the question is when do they start to dim? Now you might want to not do this super long but uh, this is one way to test it out and uh, if you have a good battery uh, typically you can leave the headlights on for uh, longer than an hour. Now if the lights start to dim in under 30 minutes uh, it definitely needs to be replaced. Now, uh, moving on to warranties, uh, most places will do a warranty anywhere from uh, 12 to 24 months free, so one to two years free, and then after that, uh, 60 to 72 months is typically it's uh, prorated. So let's say you had it for 40 months and it's a 60 month uh, prorated warranty, well you would pay two thirds of the cost uh, to buy a new one, and then obviously they'd have a core charge in there as well. Now, while I would recommend keeping a receipt uh, so you know where you purchased the battery at and you can get it warrantied there, it's not absolutely essential. I know uh, some places, uh, if it's purchased at the place and they can tell it's been purchased at the place, they will uh, do the warranty without a receipt, uh, do the prorated warranty or even the free replacement. But uh, it's best to keep a receipt just to be sure and stuff because sometimes you can pick the wrong store. Now another question uh, people have is whether it's the battery or the alternator. Some people recommend uh, taking the positive or the negative cable off and uh, if your engine stops you need a new alternator but uh, that's probably not good advice uh, at least for newer cars uh, and some older ones and the reason it's not good advice is that uh, you don't want to disconnect the battery uh, because a sudden change in voltage may uh, damage your car's electronic control unit or their, your engine management unit. And eventually all batteries get old and end up going into a uh, scrap heap or a skid uh, where you put them away. I know when I, worked at, when I worked at a store we probably did at least as much as in the picture every day. On the weekends it might be two to three times what you see in the picture.
and hopefully this will help you be able to tell if your uh, battery's bad or not. And if not, you can always take it to like a Pet Boy, AutoZone, or any of the, the major automotive chains, and they can test it out for you and see if it's bad or not. Thank you for watching.